Hi, welcome to the uh, third lesson of Chapter 5. So far, we've looked at solving systems equations by using graphing. We then looked at how to use substitution to solve those equations. Our third way that we're going to solve systems of equations is using elimination. Now, there's various ways to employ elimination. Um, the first way we're going to look at is addition and subtraction. So I have these two uh, equations here. What I want to do is take advantage of these similar terms, these similar y terms, and I'm going to cancel those out by adding these two equations together. So when I do this, I get 3x plus 2x gives me 5x. Negative 5y plus positive 5y is just going to give me 0. Notice how I got rid of that y. And now negative uh, 16 plus 31 is going to give me a positive 15. So I end up with 5x equals 15. If I divide both sides by 5, I get x equals 3. Now I can put that 3 in for any x up here. Either of these two x's. We'll just go with the top one. 3 times 3 minus 5 times y equals negative 16. 9 minus 5y equals negative 16. Let's subtract 9 from both sides. We get negative 5y equals negative 25. Divide both sides by 5 to get y by itself. We have y equals positive 5. So my solution for this set of equations is 3, 5. So at this time, you can go ahead and pause the video and try this example in your notes. So let's go ahead and look at a word problem example. We have twice one number added to another number is 18. 4 times the first number minus the other number is 12. Find the numbers. So we have twice one number added to another number is 18. So I'm going to write that as 2 times the first number x added to another number y is 18. 4 times the first number x minus the other number y is 12. And then we're just going to use what we did in the previous example to be able to eliminate one of the variables and get our solution. I notice 2 and x and 4x aren't going to cancel out, but y and negative y will cancel out if I add these equations together. So I can take 2x plus 4x and I'll get 6x. I can take positive y add it to negative y and I get 0. If I take 18 and add it to 12 I get 30. So I have 6x equals 30 divide both sides by 6 I get x equals 5. I can plug that x into either x up here 2 times x or 5 plus y equals 18. So 10 plus y equals 18 Subtract 10 from both sides to get y by itself. y equals 8. I have a coordinate at 5, 8. So in the previous examples, we added to eliminate a variable. Now we're going to subtract to eliminate a variable. Notice this time my 5 and 9 are not going to cancel, but my 2t and 2t can cancel if I subtract these two equations. Because what's going to happen is I get 5s minus 9s, which is negative 4s, but I get 2t minus 2t, it's going to give me 0. Then I finally have 6 minus 22, that's going to give me a negative 16. So I have negative 4s equals negative 16. I'm going to divide both sides by negative 4. I get s is equal to 4. Again, I can plug that into either s. 
So 5 times s, or 4, plus 2t equals 6. So 20 plus 2t equals 6. Let's get that t by itself. We'll subtract 20 from both sides. We get 2t equals 6 minus 20, which is negative 14. Let's divide 2. We get t equals negative 7. I have my solution point at 4, negative 7. And finally, here's one problem you can try on your own. 8b plus 3c equals 11. 8b plus 7c equals 7.